A Course in Miracles uses the word miracle simply meaning a correction, a atonement equaled the undoing of a false perception. And a change in perception, is forgiveness, is the medium through which it comes to healing. All these words are basically the same. They have nothing to do with the external. A miracle, or something that was so called in terms of external things, such as walking on water, or an external healing, is only a reflection of an internal miracle. A miracle is an internal change. One of the most beautiful sentences in the Course defines a miracle as well the holiest of all places earth is where an ancient hatred became a love gift. This is a miracle. When your odious perception of someone suddenly changes and you look with love for that person, it is a miracle. It is a change in perception. Is a correction that goes ego look mode to the way of looking at the Holy Spirit. Then try to suspend any judgment on what the problem is. If possible, close your eyes for a moment and ask what the problem is. You will be heard and you will be answered. A problem cannot be solved unless you know what it is. Even if, in fact, is already solved, you will still have the problem, because you will not recognize what has already been resolved. This is the state of the world. The problem of separation that is really the only problem has been resolved. However, the solution is not recognized because the problem is not recognized. All people in this world seem to have their own special problems. However, they are all the same and should be recognized as one, if there is to accept the single solution that solves them all. Who can see that a problem has been solved if you think the problem lies elsewhere? Even if it is given the answer, he cannot see its relevance. That is the position in which you think now. Do you have the answer, but do not have yet sure what the problem is? A long series of different problems seems to confront you and so one of them is resolved, comes another, and another. They seem to have no end. There is no point in you to feel completely hassle-free and at peace. The temptation to consider the problems as if they were many is the temptation to keep the problem of separation unsolved. The world seems to present you a lot of problems, each requiring a different response. This perception puts you in a position where your way of solving problems have to be inadequate and failure is inevitable. No one could solve all the problems that the world seems to contain. They seem to be on so many levels, have forms as diverse and varied content so that they confront you with an impossible situation. To consider them, despondency and depression are inevitable. Some come unexpectedly, just when you think you had settled earlier. Others remain unsolved under a cloud of denial and rise to haunt you from time to time, just to hide in again, but still no solution. All this complexity is nothing more than a desperate attempt not to recognize the problem and thus not let it be resolved. If you could recognize that your only problem is separation, regardless of the form it takes, asciteria is the answer because you would see its relevance. Perceiving the underlying constancy in all the problems that seem to confront you, you would understand that you have the means to solve them all and would use this medium because Rikin has serious the problem. In our longer practice periods today, we will ask what the problem is and what the answer to it. Per supermos not we already know. We will try to free our minds of all the different types of problems we think have. We will try to tell us that we have one problem, which we have failed to recognize. We will ask what's wrong and wait the answer she will be in itself. So, we will ask the solution. And it is in itself. Today exercises will succeed in that not insist to define the problem. Perhaps you've not succeeded in releasing all your preconceived notions, but this is not necessary. It only requires that you allow any doubt about the reality of your version of what are your problems. 
are you trying to recognize that the solution was given to you to acknowledge the problem, so that the problem and the solution can join and you may be at peace? The shorter periods of practice to this day will not be said by time, but by necessity. You will see many problems today, each asking for a response. Our efforts will be directed to the recognition that there is only one problem and one answer. Recognition that all problems are solved. In this recognition there is peace. Do not be fooled by way of the problems today. When any difficulty arises opinion, tell yourself immediately. Let me recognize this problem so that it can be resolved. 1. There is no order of difficulty in miracles. One is not harder or bigger than the other. All are the same. All expressions of love are maximal. 2. Miracles itself does not matter. The only thing that matters is their source, which is far beyond evaluation. 3. Miracles occur naturally as expressions of love. The love that inspires them is the real miracle. In this sense everything that comes from love is a miracle. 4. All miracles mean life, and God is the giver of life. His voice will direct you very specifically. All you need to know will be told. 5. Miracles are habits and should be involuntary. They should not be under conscious control. Consciously selected miracles can be guided wrongly. 6. Miracles are natural. When not occur, something went wrong. 7. Miracles are everyone's right. Before, however, purification is required. 8. Miracles are healing because they supply a lack. They are presented by those who temporarily have more for those who temporarily have less. 9. Miracles are a kind of exchange. Like all expressions of love, which are always miraculous in the true sense, the exchange reverses the physical laws. They bring more love both to the giver and to the one who receives. Image result for images on Malagras 10. The use of miracles as spectacles to induce belief is a misunderstanding of their purpose. 11. Prayer is the medium of miracles. It is a means of communication of the created with the Creator. Through prayer love is received, and through miracles love is expressed. 12. Miracles are thoughts. Thoughts can represent the lower or bodily level of experience or the higher or spiritual level of experience. One is physical and the other creates the spiritual. 13. Miracles are both principles as ends, and thus alter the temporal order. They are always affirmations of rebirth, which seem to go back but really go along. They undo the past and the present and thus release the future. 14. Miracles bear witness to the truth. They are convincing because they arise from conviction. Unconvincingly deteriorate into magic, which does not make use of the mind and is therefore destructive. Or rather, the uncreative use of mind. 15. Each day should be devoted to miracles. The purpose of time is to enable you to learn how to use it constructively. It is therefore a teaching device and a means to an end. Time will cease when no longer useful in facilitating learning. 16. Miracles are teaching tools to demonstrate that giving is as blessed as receive. They simultaneously increase the strength of the giver and supply strength to the receiver. 17. Miracles transcend the body. Are sudden tickets to invisibility, away from the body level. That's why heal. 18. A miracle is a service. It is the maximal service you can render to another. And one way to love your neighbor as yourself. Recognize your own value and your neighbor simultaneously. 19. Miracles make minds are one in God. They depend on cooperation because the sonship is the sum of all that God created. 
Miracles therefore reflect the laws of eternity, not of time. 20. Miracles again awaken the awareness that the spirit, not the body, is the altar of truth. This is the recognition that leads to the healing power of the miracle. 21. Miracles are natural signs of forgiveness. Through the miracles accepted God's forgiveness by extending it to others. 22. Miracles are only associated with fear because of the belief that darkness can hide. You believe that what your physical eyes cannot see does not exist. This leads to a denial of spiritual sight. 23. Miracles rearrange perception and place all levels in true perspective. This is healing because sickness comes from confusing the levels. 24. Miracles enable you to heal the sick and raise the dead because you made sickness and even death, can therefore abolish both. You are a miracle, capable of creating in your creator. Everything else is your own nightmare, and does not exist. Only the creations of light are real. 25. Miracles are part of an interlocking chain of forgiveness which, when completed, is the atonement. The atonement works all the time and in all dimensions of time. 26. Miracles represent freedom from fear. Atonement means undoing. Undo fear and an essential part of the value of miracles in atonement. 27. A miracle is a universal blessing from God through me to all my brothers. The privilege of forgiveness is to forgive. 28. Miracles are a way of earning release from fear. Revelation induces a state in which fear has already been abolished. Miracles are thus a means and revelation is an end. 29. Miracles praise God through you. They praise Him by honoring His creations, affirming that are perfect. They heal because they deny body identification and affirm spirit identification. By recognizing spirit, miracles adjust the levels of perception and show them in proper alignment. This places spirit at the center, where it can communicate directly. 31. Miracles should inspire gratitude, not awe. You should thank God for what you really are. Children of God are holy and the miracle honors their holiness, which can be hidden but never lost. 32. I inspire all miracles, which are really intercessions. They intercede for your holiness and make your perceptions are holy. Placing you beyond the physical laws they raise you into the sphere of celestial order. In this order, you are perfect. 33. Miracles honor you because you are kind. They dispel illusions about yourself and perceive the light in you. So atone for your mistakes freeing you from your nightmares. By releasing your mind from the imprisonment of your illusions, restore your sanity. 34. Miracles restore the mind to its fullest. Atone for the sense of grace, provide perfect protection. The strength of the spirit leaves no room for intrusions. 35. Miracles are expressions of love but may not always have observable effects. 36. Miracles are examples of right thinking, aligning your perceptions with truth as God created it. 37. A miracle is a correction introduced into false thinking by me. Acts as a catalyst, breaking the erroneous perception and reorganizing it properly. This puts you under the principle of atonement where perception is healed. Until this has occurred, knowledge of the divine order is impossible. 38. The Holy Spirit is the mechanism of miracles. He recognizes both God's creations as your illusions. He separates the true from the false by his ability to perceive fully and not selectively. 39. The miracle dissolves error because the Holy Spirit identifies it as false or unreal. That's the same as saying that by perceiving light, darkness automatically disappears. 40. 
The miracle acknowledges everyone as your brother and mine. It is a way to realize the universal mark of God. 41. Integrity is the perceptual content of miracles. Thus, correct or atone for the faulty perception of lack. 42. A major contribution of miracles is their strength to release you from your false sense of isolation, deprivation and lack. 43. Miracles arise from a miraculous state of mind, or a state of readiness for the miracle. 44. The miracle is an expression of inner awareness of Christ and acceptance of His atonement. 45. A miracle is never lost. You can touch many people that even you find and produce undreamed of changes in situations of which you are not even aware of. 46. The Holy Spirit is the highest communication medium. Miracles do not involve this type of communication because they are temporary communication tools. When you return to your original form of communication with God by direct revelation, the need for miracles is over. 47. The miracle is a learning device which causes the need to decrease time. It sets a time interval outside the standard which is not subject to the usual laws of time. In this sense it is timeless. 48. The miracle is the only instrument at your immediate disposal for controlling time. Only revelation transcends it, having nothing to do with time. 49. The miracle makes no distinction among degrees of misperception. It is a tool to correct the perception that is efficient, regardless of the degree or the direction of the error. That's what makes it truly is indiscriminate. 50. The miracle compares what you do with creation, accepting as true what is in accordance with it and rejecting as false what is at odds. When you are not at peace can only be because they do not believe that you are in him. However, he is all in all. His peace is complete and you have to be included in it. His laws govern because you govern everything. You cannot exempt you from His laws, although you can disobey them. But if you do and only if you do, feel thou shalt lonely and helpless, because you will be denying everything yourself. I have come as a light to a world that, in fact, denies everything himself. It does this by simply disassociate from it all. It is therefore an isolation illusion maintained by fear of the same loneliness that is the illusion of the world. I said I am with you always, until the end of the world. That is why I am the light of the world. If I am with you in the world of solitude, solitude disappear. Lesson 2 I have given everything I see in this room on this street, from this window, in this place all the meaning it has for me. 1. The exercises with this idea are the same as the first. It starts with things that are close to you and apply the idea to anything on which your gaze land. Then it increases the scope out. He turns his head to include whatever is on either side. If possible, turn around and apply the idea to what was behind you remains as indiscriminate as possible in selecting subjects for the application of this idea, not concenters you anything in particular and not try to include everything you see in a particular area, or creating tension. 2. Merely take a look naturally and fairly quickly around you, trying to avoid any selection by size, brightness, color, material, or relative importance to you. Simply consider the subject as you see them. Attempts to apply the exercise with equal facility to a body or a button, a fly or the floor to an arm or an apple. The only criterion for applying the idea to anything is merely that your eyes have touched. Try not to include anything in particular, but make sure you that nothing is specifically excluded. I hope that you will enjoy these humanities collective unconscious of the paradigm shift moments in the light of course in miracles and so, together, we will create peace personal and planetary peace.
We believe that many people pray, say and do at the same time positively becomes reality when there is purpose and sincerity of heart. Through the exercises proposed in the Course in Miracles along these posts, we will be anchoring the Christ Consciousness, which does not recognize anything outside the perfection of supply. Do this, so we can feel with fullness these moments that we are living on Mother Earth slash Gaia, creating a new humanity, with respect for human values, with integrity, harmony and balance, and fully transmuting the limit, pain, suffering, war and all the tricks of the ego personality.